so I knew you were a big Jenny Lewis fan. Yeah. So I knew you'd be at the stage. Yeah. And then I saw you running back here. Yeah. After her set. That's true. And then autographs and people started mobbing and then we hear Leah, Leah, Leah. Yeah. So when did that start happening? Toronto is a, is a, is a very specific crowd because we're from here. And so we've yeah. been playing, they've, they watched our birth. They were there in the delivery room. Were they? Yeah, and, the, and it, you know, I think we were, I think July Talk was probably born at the, uh, at the Silver Dollar. Oh yeah, and okay. So, and so there were people there, and then and then they followed us when we played the Horseshoe, and then they followed us when we played the Sound Academy, and and so they're kind of our our godmothers and fathers and people in a way. This year must have been nuts. I remember seeing you guys play at the North by the Universal Party last summer, and being like, "Oh, this is new. This is this is different. This something's on gonna... the rooftop." Yeah. Yeah. And being like, "Okay, I dig this. I because you don't see that very often. There's when when there's something, and you're just like, something's gonna happen with them." And now it seems like it's, it's well, working. Well, that's very nice of you. I don't mean it as a compliment. It's really hard to If anything, to I mean it's the opposite those... of a compliment. No. Oh. No, really? I'm joking. No, no. It's really hard to play those industry parties. Yeah. Because everyone's everyone... like this. Yeah. That's, yeah, I know. I try not to. I try and bob a little bit, but then yeah. you feel awkward because you're like the only one. Like, yeah, totally. I've been there. Yeah. I'm always, yeah, yeah. I'm always that guy. I take them off. Now I have to take them off. Well, it's nice to take off your sunglasses. I did lose all so my people questions, can see though, which is crazy. Sometimes. So watching Jenny set, what did, what did you learn as a performer? What were you looking for? Uh, I've just I've been waiting to see her perform since I was since I was introduced to Rilo Kiley in you know late high school or something okay. like that and uh, and I'm like 40 now so that's like a really long time <laughs> um, yeah I just I was completely blown away she just she was magic she had the her her songs are just they just tell it like it is always constantly over and over again and she's saying the things that maybe people don't want to acknowledge or that that the things that people aren't saying. There's, I feel like there's, there's no time she's ever written a song that's just kind of, like, oh, it sounds good, and just, yeah, no, like. So have everything you, have you she done writes. That or is, do you take from her stuff and try and be more personal with your own lyrics? Oh yeah, we definitely, we definitely are, are going over things constantly yeah. and, and trying to not write throwaway songs. <laughs> but you, you can tell sometimes when you hear them. It's just kind of like, you know, it's like when you're singing a song and you're like. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. and you like know the the two words or whatever, mm-hmm. the three words, but you're not really you're the artist hasn't forced you to pay attention to exactly what they're trying to get atro- across, and I feel like Jenny Lewis always does that. Did July talk to you that too? We're we're trying. We should probably talk That's about your a... band here instead of hers. She was amazing. <laughs> she made me cry. It was like really was when what what song During, did you cry? I've actually never heard the song. I think it was it's. Uh, it must be an old one. Maybe. Or a I new don't one, know. Knows. I think it was old because she said, maybe you guys will remember this one. Oh, it was that's a, probably an old one. Something about slow faded, slow fading love. Cool. Anyway, yeah. incredible. Is it safe to say when we hear your words in July Talk and Peter's words in July Talk, you wrote your words, he wrote his, or do you guys write for each other at times? We did that very briefly, and we realized that because we spend all of our time together, uh, we're often able to reiterate each other's thoughts better than ourselves personally. And so, yeah, it's, it's a really cool thing because uh, in interviews, sometimes like he'll say the thing that I'm like, that's exactly what I would have said, but I wouldn't have thought to say it. And it goes both ways. And it, it kind of goes that way for lyric writing as well, where it's just, we, we literally, the whole band, like all five of us are in a band 24 hours a day however, I don't know, 300 days a year or something yeah. like that. So we know each other. We know each other's blood. We know each other's rhythms and, and patterns and thought processes and stuff like that. And so uh, I can say to Pete, I want to say this thing, but I want it to kind of have an air of this, and I want it to kind of sound like this. What is it? And he'll be like, da 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 And then, okay. and again, it goes both ways. It's like, it's, yeah. It's a really, it's a really, it's a really fabulous way of writing. It's a really, I think collaborating is, can be really difficult because obviously if you have a vision it's your vision Mm -hmm. but uh when you can find someone that your your minds can do this kind of like rubbing friction thing two are better than one how's it going with the new stuff you guys writing yesterday is that what i read yeah okay it's true come up on well it's twitter it's not very hard to find out this stuff um yeah we we hadn't we've been touring so much that we haven't had a chance to actually play any of the songs that we've been writing other than like you know kind of on acoustic guitar and jamming them out and talking about ideas but yesterday we got to go to our rehearsal space and what was that like getting back in there and because that's a different creative process it's It's so it's so refreshing Mm -hmm. look a baby that's that's zoe it's baby zoe (laughs) my favorite um what did i want to ask you now you threw me off with the stupid baby no no i'm kidding (laughs) 
Um, you mentioned the word blood in there. It got me thinking about that performance I saw of you covered in blood. Yeah. I hear you like the fake blood. I do like it. For, for movie fans out there, I know your band is, is big in filmmaking as well. True. What's the best way to make fake blood? Oh, uh, I usually, actually, for for shows, I usually buy store-bought. Okay. Um, I have, like, a surplus of it from Value Village, because at, Vill- at Value Village, around Halloween time, there's just shelves of it. Right. And you can buy it. But I have made it before. Uh, corn syrup, and I put a little bit of chocolate sauce in there. Uh, red Next food coloring, obviously. Good one, yeah. yeah. Cool. You just gotta play around with it. Right. Um, I hear this is, well, the new single's The Dress, so we should probably talk about that a little bit. Sure. But I hear there's a story about a dress that you wore on stage that kind of got crowd surfed out of the, something it's happened. It's true. Can it you tell that story? Yeah. I want to hear the story. This was at Edge Fest, uh, I think last year, and last summer, yeah. And I wore a wedding dress, a really obnoxious, uh, you know, 80s shoulder pad, polyester, <laughs> sequin, embellished uh, dress that I bought for like 60 bucks or something like that and I wore it for a bit and then I took it off and then I had this idea to, to make it crowd surf across the crowd because it had this really long train and I was like, this will just be the most beautiful thing I've you ever seen. You didn't want to be in the dress, you just wanted to throw the dress up? Yeah, totally. Okay. It was really nice to sit back and watch it go mm-hmm. and not worry about crushing anyone. And then someone uh, got it, got a hold of it, claimed it as their own. As they would. I was able to sign it for them before they took it away and and I remember distinctly giving it to a woman and then later on that day we were on the internet and these photos were being posted of a man being escorted out of the uh, festival by cops wearing the wedding dress we have no idea what happened we still don't know but we want to know so if you if anyone well, has we'll any getting leads, the story Get yeah. the story out there more, and maybe someone will finally see this, and then we'll be able to do it. Let us know what happened. So i got to go talk to Jenny, so I'm going to let you go. Okay. Do you want a question for her? I was going to tweet you earlier, and I was like, I don't know her very well. I probably shouldn't tweet. I saw that, and I almost did tweet back at you. Almost, guys. but you didn't. But the thing is, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. Oh, it's all good. I don't, I don't have a specific question for her. I just want to, I just want to, like, I can't even tell if I want to meet her, because I might just, like, throw up on her, because I'm so excited to, you know. I get you. It's been, a, it's been a long time. I've had a crush on her since I was like four. Since the wizard for me. Since the, since wizard. the wizard, exactly. I've seen that movie like probably well, 250 times. Everyone wanted times. love after that. Yeah. And then got the gloves and they weren't as cool as the movie. Anyway, five quick questions, one word answers. Okay. You ready? Road or studio? Oh, oh yeah, road. Got... Lennon or McCartney? Woo, Lennon. When you hear a song, what usually hits you first? Lyrics, melody, or rhythm? Rhythm. If someone's never heard July Talk before, what song do they start with? Summer Dress. In one word, July Talk. Rock and Roll Chaos. Rock and roll Is that chaos. one word? I like that. It's one word if you don't put any spaces in I it. like it. Or a little, some hyphens or something. Totally. Thank you. Good Matt. talking to you. Good <laughs> talking to you too. Great to you. I love it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that title, Isn't I was that like, insane? That's amazing.